Hey guys, I know I haven't made a video in a while. Um, I recently got a job at an office supply store and I've been really busy with that and I found out that I'm going to be in another craft show. They accepted my entry. So I'm going to be part of the Lemonade Craft and Art Fair on June 27th and I've been pouring like crazy the last um, week here trying to get stuff because I did like some new stuff because I didn't want to have it go till the last minute like last time and be spray glazing stuff the night before so um my first um kind of craft fair that I did I didn't do really well but it's because it was like a garage sale type fair and um people weren't really looking for artsy stuff a lot of the crafters that were there that I talked to didn't make anything either. I mean, I maybe made $20 over the $50 entry fee. Um, and that's only because I did ID badges for nurses and um, people like that. So I'm gonna do more of those for this show and obviously, you know, pendants, keychains, magnets, the like, but um, I'm gonna show you what I made. A lot of it's magnets because I got, or gonna be magnets or bigger pendants or keychains because I got the Paris mold and an, like a cupcake circle mold from the same company on Amazon so I'm just gonna start showing you guys stuff a lot of these are transparencies and I printed this one on a different some of them on a different setting so they turned out kind of gray and I just did a glittery white background on a lot of them because um the transparencies don't really show up otherwise. I mean, some of them you can do green and stuff, but um, with some of the sayings, it doesn't really make sense to do like oddball colors. And I like I just wanted to mix a pot of clear, pour the clear, do the transparency, and then um, do uh, you know the background just all one color. I didn't want to mix tiny. Um, mixes and paper cups like I do for other items. Some of these are repeats that I've previously made but um, I just found like cute sayings on Facebook things I belong to and little internet memes and stuff. This one's a repeat. I did one in a circle and it sold at the last craft show so I made one in a circle, I think, and then I did one like this. And I've been collecting and making the transparency, like, on my computer, the, sh the like, the document. This one kind of turned, but I think it looks okay. Um, I've been collecting them for a while, and I just printed it. This one's one of my favorite ones. And I tried to do like a bloody background on a couple of these, just just because it made sense, just to add a little bit to it. I really like this one too. I like the creepy ones. Of course, I like the creepy ones, right? And then I did these. I know um, people have probably seen the trans the images and the transparencies before, but for some reason, some of these went wacky. I think it's because I cover like one of those trifold science boards in freezer paper because I don't want to work directly on a freezer and I don't have a table so I just do that and sometimes they end up a little wonky but this one I painted before I put in there or put the background on and um I don't know, it's kind of an okay paint job. <laughs> I didn't really do the best on it, but I might keep this one for myself anyways. This one's a repeat too. I did this one for myself and I liked it, so I thought I'd make another one. This one, it looks like some of the dried paint got in there, so I don't know. I have one of mine, so I might make this one mine and put out the other one that looks a little better. It's 
some of the fonts you can't see because I have the focus a little farther out from the camera. But if you want to know what something says, just leave a comment and I'll let you know. This one's really cool too. I might make another one of these. Um, I have some stuff that I need to throw another layer on, but I don't know when I'm going to do it because I don't have a lot of time this week because I have to do some more training at work, but this is a repeat. I made this one before. There's another paint, dried paint thing. I really got to clean my paint spouts off on my thing. I'm just too lazy. I've done this one before in a bigger circle mold, but I thought this one looked cool too. I did the same background on it too. I'm like shaking. Jeez. Stress. I would read these to you guys, but I, I'm kind of hoarse, so. This one, I had all the heart, like the little bitty hearts surrounding it, but they kind of floated. I put them in a little too soon, so now they're all kind of behind um, their big one. This is a One Direction one, if um, anybody didn't know that or know anything about the band. What the heck happened there? Perfect. <laughs> All right, well, that one might be a clearance one. Looks like I got something on the transparency. This one's really cool, too. I really like this one. Looks like it's got a little fuzz right there. I might put a gem there. This one, I was an idiot and decided to put the transparency the right way instead of upside down like it should have been. So this one might be mine. I might paint the back. But I love this one too. These were just so easy to do because I have like 14 of the this this um, rectangle now and it's a shiny mold to, and they come out shiny so you know you don't really have to glaze them if you don't want to and it was just easy for me to do a layer of clear and throw a bunch of stuff on it or in it and then do a whole mix of white and be done so this is a gold prolix and a little bit of yellow paint rose I did a cross like that too. Um, I have a red one like this, but I had some green left over from some Christmas trees that I did. And um, I figured that it'd be kind of like green with envy type thing. So I like the way it turned out. I should have put a little paint in it because it's a little transparent, but it looks cool. Push all this stuff up. And anything that doesn't sell at the craft show will probably end up listing on my my Etsy because like I'm just trying to unload some stuff and you know I like a lot of the stuff I make but I can't keep everything. You know, I have like a box of just tons of pendants and stuff that I wear personally, but um I still have a bunch of stuff that I just made like when I was first getting into resin. So this is kind of like a little chocolate bunny. It was left over from the cookies, so paint that. Here's a ninja turtle that I did. I gotta paint him. Normally I'd paint this first, but I had the mold and I didn't have it painted when I was in there and I'm just like, extra green, throw it in there. Um, there's some paint on this one that was stuck in the mold when I had painted it from another one. So he's going to get painted anyways, but it's a Mario mushroom. It's another Mario mushroom. I like wearing the Mario mushrooms a lot because I get a lot of compliments on them at work. Um, 
I know I have another one in this box. Oh, well. Here's a Mario Star. Another Mario Star. There was a lot of people at the other crack or at the giant garage sale I did that um liked a lot of stuff. They loved the Mario stuff. They loved the Ninja Turtle stuff. And the Angry Bird stuff. It's just that nobody bought anything because they were looking for like dollar deal type stuff. And I, di I didn't have them overly priced either. I had my bigger pendants like the Ninja Turtles and the and the Mushrooms priced at like eight fifty or something like that. And the badge pulls were like seven twenty five and my magnets were five. Small pendants were four. Like the normal sized hearts like this that you get like the two palette heart mold were um five and you know they all came with chains. Rings were four you know, nothing was like overpriced or anything. And I know people sell things for like twenty two dollars on Etsy and fourteen to me is a good price, you know, because the artist makes a little bit and your materials are paid for and your time is paid for. But like I was trying to get rid of stuff so I thought I'd price it low and I still didn't get rid of anything. So um I'm gonna try and price it a little higher and you know if it doesn't sell, it's a nine hour deal, so maybe I'll mark it down like halfway through the show. Um, but anyway, this one, I put glitter in it when it was still tacky and I tried to swirl it. Um, it kind of looks like a galaxy. I don't know. It looks okay. I might try and do that again sometime when I get more time. I did another one like that, but it'll eventually come out of that box. Um, my aunt, or no, my cousin is a, a nurse and she suggested that for the badge pulls I do holiday stuff, so I um, traded out to get some Christmas trees and some snowmen. And this one I tried to do like garland, but I put the glitter in too soon and it kind of mixed all together. I might end up painting on it. These I put little plastic beads in. Some of the glitter was still left over from last time in there. But um, I thought they'd look like little bulbs. So once I glaze them, they'll stick out more. Um, I did a few Angry Birds. I might have to touch up the paint on some of these, but I know people like Angry Birds, so I have a. F I think I have two yellow ones and two blue ones on my pendant rack and my magnet rack right now. But I did a few more pumpkin, probably for a badge pull. Sprinkle Panda. I have one of these and it was just a random thing that I did and everybody really seems to like it when I wear it. Mine has clear eyes though I put too many sprinkles in this one but um I might try and file out the eyes or maybe just paint the insides. I don't know yet but I hope this one sells. I think they're so cute. This is a custom one for my cousin. She wanted a badge pull with a orange centered daisy so I did a couple of the 3D hearts this one's kind of like a darker red and this one's a little bit lighter but um those are probably going to go on badge pulls or as well for like heart surgeons or you know people who work in hospitals or science I don't know this is a white perlex rose popcorn that I have to paint. That'll probably be a magnet. Little sugar skull. This will probably go on a, a badge pull or make I'll make it a tiny pendant depending. I don't know what I'm going to put on badge pulls yet. This is an Xbox controller. I might have to touch up the paint on some of these but this is a PS3 one. I didn't paint it yet. I painted the inside of the mold and I just I had it sitting down there after I did this one. And I had extra black, so I just threw it in there. These always sell really well. Like, people always look at them and like them. And I figured if moms or grandmas are shopping for kids at the craft fair, um, you know, keychains of those would sell really well. White Perlex cross. And then this is, I want to do like a titanium color. So it's white Perlex with black and white paint in there to make it gray. I did a darker titanium colored 
koala because I had leftover perlex from something else. So red glitter skull from extra glitter I had. Music note. These always come out with air bubbles for me. I don't know why. I'll probably be a zipper pull. Did a red Xbox controller. Peep. Another Angry Bird. Here's the other mushroom. I have to paint the inside of the eyes yet on all of them, but. Here's another Christmas tree. And I did sprinkles in this to make it look like bulbs, but it looks okay. I like the, the little gem better. Oh, here's the other swirled glitter one that turned out better. This more, It looks more like the effect I was looking for. What I did was I put like a bunch of orange here, a bunch of pink, a bunch of yellow, green, blue, and purple, and then I just kind of started up here and went like this once, and it swirled it. I did it with a toothpick. I like the effect, but I don't know if I'm going to keep it or sell it. I'm, I'll probably sell it if, you know, if somebody wants it. Otherwise, if it doesn't after the craft show, it'll probably go in my collection of stuff. I did a bunch of poker chips. You know, clubs and spades. Some of them are thicker than the other ones. Do I only have one? Oh no, those are both spades. Okay. And then I did um, plain red ones, and then I did glittery red ones. I did a dog tag for myself. This is a Vengeance University logo. And I accidentally had gold perlex on my finger, so there's a couple spots on there. But, um... It's for me anyways. I was going to make it a keychain for my backpack, so. I did a gray, and I put this in the freezer, and it kind of discolored the paint, so I'll probably end up repainting it. But, um, it's white perlex, and then I did a gray ribbon for brain cancer. That might be another badge pull. Bubblegum pink bow. This is a little freebie mold that I got from someone and it's just a little daisy. Red little bow. Pink puppy paw. From random stuff. Here's the snowman. And for some reason it, air bubbles went in every bit of this so I might end up filing them down and um, just painting them on because they could catch on something if um they did rub up against something. And then I did this one too. And he has air bubbles in every bit of his mouth and on his eyes. I did, this took a lot of resin, but I wanted to do just one and see how it would turn out. These are the companion cubes from Portal. I don't play the game myself, but I think they look cool. Um, so I, had, I bought the mold with some points. I had it thingy because they had it on sale and I had accumulated some points from ordering stuff so I got it pretty much for free anyway but um if anybody wants some of this mold I have some to trade or sell or whatever um for trade I'm looking for snowflakes and shamrocks if anybody is interested um but it's kind of heavy I'll probably make it a keychain or something like that but I wanted to pour just one and see how it would turn out um, I did end up pouring three just uh, squares, like the bottom piece, and I'm going to probably make them into pendants after I paint them up. Pink PS3 controller, purple bow, blue bow, and all the bows and the smaller stuff is kind of just random stuff I needed. I didn't want to waste the resin, so I just poured this is like a half and half music note. I didn't have enough red to finish it. Black um, skeleton. And I'm going to paint the stitches red on this one. I did a ghost. I don't know if he's going to be a keychain. He's a little big to do for a badge pull, but um, he's still adorable anyways. 
to the pumpkin. And I know this has got to be cleaned up a lot, but um, here's a peace sign that I kind of tie-dye glittered. Red heart. Red devil heart. Pink heart. There's another pumpkin that I did. This is probably going to go to my cousin as well. Um, she wanted, I told her I had a little pumpkin with a witch hat and she wanted a, a badge pull of that. So that one's for her too. A couple more magnets. I really like this one. Um, here's the duplicate of the one I sold at the last craft fair. This one I could kick myself. The, <laughs> the, uh, the pink overran and I tried to get it out of there with the Q-tip, but it dried like that. So this will probably be a clearance one because it has random pink spots all over it. But I had leftover yellow from when I did the Peeps and the uh, Mario Stars and the Angry Birds. So I just threw it in there because I wasn't just going to pop this piece out. This I had painted forever. I had these dots painted and I was going to pour in it forever. And then I kind of forgot what color I was going to use. So I just poured purple in it. It looks okay. It kind of shows up blue on camera. but Another little sugar skull. I just poured um, glittery white in this one and I'm probably going to paint it pink. Um, a pastel pink for cancer awareness. I have just two of these little sprinkle hearts. I wish I had poured more of these, but I poured one and I kept it for myself. This is Perlex, and then I did a black background on it. It looks really cool. Somebody will probably end up buying it. I hope they do because it's just awesome. I get a lot of compliments on mine all the time when I wear it. Um, if I do another pour, I will probably try and pour another one. Um, I might just do it all one color and end up painting the rib cage. I'm not quite sure. Who knows? Because I'm almost out of resin. I probably have two more pours out of it, but out of my jugs. These are glow-in-the-dark glittery Batmans, the small ones. And then I have the big ones, too. Hopefully the Batman craze hasn't passed yet. I know everybody still loves Batman, I'm sure. Um, I had extra green with glitter in it, so I threw it in these peep molds. They're kind of like atomic nuclear bunnies. I don't know. Um, I think I had glow-in-the-dark powder in this, or glow-in-the-dark glitter in this too, so they'll probably glow in the dark. Um, I'm going to finish this off by point pointing painting vines on here for like poison ivy from batman um which i think is gonna look cool i ended up going to target and getting that bacon mold that everyone was talking about on the forums and i ended up doing a bunch of these this is just perlex in there i thought it looked just, just to give it a little extra something instead of just white um some of these are probably going to be earrings. Some of them will be keychains. I just did the whole mold, so I don't know how many are on there. Ten or so. This one I accidentally got some black in. <laughs> so there's a little burnt piece on that piece of bacon. But Bacon sometimes has burnt pieces, right? Um, I did some blood slides. I have more of them that... Um, I need to put another layer on. Um, so what I did was I poured a layer of clear like this. And this one I didn't put um, dye on because these three I did the second layer and one of them I totally screwed up so I I'd popped it out when it was still tacky. Um, well the dye was still tacky. So I poured a clear layer like this and I waited till it was like half cured and then I put cast and craft red transparent dye on it. 
and it was still sticky so it kind of you know it's stuck in between there the dye was still sticky when I touched it after 24 hours because it didn't soak all the way through the resin and like you know dissipate so I poured another layer on it encasing it in there so it's not sticky but I think they look really cool um, and it's cool that it's you know stuck in between there too so I'm probably gonna drill through them and make magnets and this is the last season of Dexter as everybody knows so um, at least I'm pretty sure that's what they said in the forums but I know they're doing a season this summer because um, everyone was so excited about the last season so um, I did some of those and I'm probably gonna pour again and finish off the other four that I have in there just to have more of them um, I had extra white and I had extra red so I ended up making one of these um, bloody bones and then I had extra white and red the next time so I made another one this one turned out a little better than this one but um, I think they're cool I mean and these bones are really big but I'm probably gonna make them into keychains because some people don't like to have lanyards on their keys they just have a big giant keychain in their bag so they can find what you know where their keys are all the time and then I had these molds painted forever but I never poured in them because I thought they'd take too much resin but I recently bought one of those you know there's like a gallon or so a piece and I've gotten 13 pours out of it and I'm sure I can get two or three more out of it and they were like $55 for the the two big jugs but I think that's how I'm gonna buy it from now on um, this is the little twin stars boy and then this is the girl I might have to touch up her hair a little bit but I thought somebody at the craft show might like them for um, like Christmas ornaments or something I don't know so I'm probably just gonna drill since they're pretty thick I'm just gonna drill into them and put an um, an eye screw in there and they could be a keychain or whatever that person wants them to be if they just want it as is or I'll throw a keychain on it but um that is it I think right yep all right um I might do another video before the craft show showing you my displays and stuff because I am in the process of making a foam core board I seen a tutorial on how to make a display out of foam core board for nail polish and I know some people on the um, Facebook groups have been making them for their glitter and I'm going to make one to display my pendants and just put like a um, a thing in the back to make it stand um, so I did make a little quick video but I have at the craft fair I did like showing my setup and everything but you could barely hear me talk so I'm gonna have to do a voiceover on it because it was so loud in there but uh it, there was a lot of people there there was a lot of people selling garage sale stuff and from what I understand even the garage sale people around me didn't make a lot of money so you know you had to pay three dollars to get in and five dollars to get in an hour early for early birds so I thought you know people would be willing to spend a little bit of money on stuff but you know even at the prices I had stuff at you know I may be sold 15 to 20 things most of them being ID badge pulls <laughs> and it was mostly men buying them for wives or girlfriends <laughs> or uh, you know stuff like that so I'm hoping to make a lot more money at this one there's a lot more exposure and it's specifically for arts and crafts so um, I bought a canopy and I bought a little wireless Bluetooth speaker and I'm you know making display boards and I'm I'm really really hoping that I make some money and <laughs> get rid of some of the stuff I have so I'll keep you guys updated on <laughs> what I do. I know I haven't made a video in a while and I'm sorry about that for people that do look forward to my videos and subscribe to my channel and thank you. I don't know how many subscribers I'm at. I, I think I was at like 200 or something the last time I checked and I was going to do a contest and I think I'm going to wait 
till Halloween because that's right around the time of year that, you know, stuff I like is out because I love creepy things and skeletons and bones and stuff like that. So, um, let me know if you guys like the stuff that I did. Let me know if you have any tips for setting up your craft fair displays or anything like that. Um, otherwise, thank you so much for watching. It means a lot to me that you guys comment and watch and stuff and I love sharing my stuff with you and I'll probably put some pics up on the forums when I get time to take some. Uh, so, bye for now.